Hey, Nicole here. So you built something awesome and now you need to drip it out to your visitors and you need to do that in MailChimp. So I've got a couple steps here for you. It only takes a few minutes if you have a reasonable number of emails to set the different settings on. Certainly, if you're planning a 365 day um, drip series, then maybe this will take a little bit longer for you. But I think if you had seven to 10 or even 15, as long as you know when you want those to go out, this will go really quickly. So right here, I just created a test for us, you'll drop down to email. Please, you know, one thing before we dive in, um, if you have questions on your trigger, or if you have questions on how to get this set up correctly in a form that you're using, let me know, that could be a separate video. But this is assuming you have those triggers worked out and you're just ready to go. You will click on that automated button and you want none of these, you want custom, way over here. I will just name it. and select an audience. You would begin. And you'd wanna set that trigger immediately, right? Let's welcome them in right away. Wait zero days. Update that trigger. Mm, I'm sorry, immediately, there it is. Update that trigger. And then you would go in to design your email the way you always design inside of MailChimp. Certainly if you have templates, that'll work out really easily. And then if you have your content built somewhere else, so you can just drop it in, uh, you would design that like normal. Then you just wanna add another email. So I wanna pause for just a second before you continue down, you'll see that automation email number two, you could do it a day after, or again, you could just set that trigger. But if you don't see that add another email, it's because, and I logged into another client's account to double check, it's because instead there's a little call to action button right here that prompts you to upgrade to their $14.99 or up, $14.99 service. So it used this used to be on the free plan, actually years ago it wasn't on any plan, but then they put it on the free plan, got everybody hooked and loving it. They never put it, I don't think they ever put it on the $9.99 plan, uh, but it is on the $14.99 a month plan. So if you don't have that, when you click there, it'll take you right to all four of their plans that they offer and you can upgrade and then come right back over here to then add your next email. So if you want them to do this one day after, maybe you're doing a five day challenge, you would hit right there. You have some options on schedule and this is where you would filter out by that segment. And if you had any other post to send actions and you just continue, don't forget to design your emails and then you would hit next. And then you would just have to resolve a few of your issues. So certainly my issues are that I didn't design any of those. I do hope this is helpful. Like I said, if you need some help setting up that trigger or that form, um, let me know and I can do that in a separate email. Thanks, have a great day.